let's see how to migrate data from SQL Server to AppServer DB or DS for PostgreSQL on Alibaba Cloud. There should be a lot of incompatible items. Going to the difference between two database engines, we will introduce migrating with Bubblefish feature of our DS for PostgreSQL, which is literally an easier way to achieve that. Let's start with environment condition. First, we need an AppServer DB or DS for PostgreSQL instance with Bubblefish feature enabled. Second, a database account for Bubblefish is required. Third, to ensure network connectivity, the proper allow list setting is also needed. And the last, get the access endpoint and TDS port to make sure the instance can be connected through both PostgreSQL driver and SQL Server client driver. Now, let's go to create an instance which has Bubblefish feature. Choose the billing method as pay as you go or subscription. Then choose the region where you want to deploy the instance. Next, choose database engine type as PostgreSQL. Both PostgreSQL 13 and PostgreSQL 14 are supported to enable Bubblefish feature. Then enable Bubblefish feature by checking the box right here. Next, choose specification for the instance. Choose instance types that are ended with an M. After this, specify the storage size and select instance duration. Next, if SLR authorization appears, click Go to Authorize beside the warning. Then choose Bubblefish Migration Mode as Single DB, as there is only one database waiting for migration on the Source SQL Server instance we prepared. Actually, there are two modes you can choose from, Single DB and Multi DB, and we will dive deep into two different modes in another session. Then create initial database account for Bubblefish and set its password. By default, the initial database account is a privileged user like root. You can also choose default time zone on this page. Then next, confirm the order. Complete payment and you will see a new instance displayed on the console. The new instance is now under creation. Let's modify the instance name to be Bubblefish Tag. After creation, the status will change to be running. Now let's click Instance ID and check more details. Click Accounts on the left navigation bar. You will see the initial account is created successfully. And then, check databases. It should be empty because this instance is totally a new one. Then click Data Security on the left to configure Allow Us. You should at least accept access from the source SQL Server instance. Next, if you cannot access to the RDS over intranet, or the source SQL Server can only connect to the target RDS over internet, then you would need to apply for the public endpoint. Fortunately, it won't take long to complete. After that, you will see both internal and public endpoint of the RDS, as well as its listening ports for PostgreSQL and Bubblefish TDS. Now all requirements are met. Time to do the migration. Step 1. Export the source database using SQL Server Client. Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio SSMS. Please note that this method doesn't support incremental data migration. So if you are planning to migrate business from SQL Server to PostgreSQL, you should stop writing new data since now until the migration is completed. There are more than one database in our source SQL Server instance, but my test is the only database we are going to migrate. So now let's export the data using the right-click menu. Follow the framework and take special attention to set scripting options. We need to change some default parameters and advanced setting. Change script logins from false to true. Change script object level permission from false to true. Change script owner from false to true. Change script triggers from false to true. And change types of data script from schema only to schema and data. Then continue and click finish when the task is completed. 
Now let's see the file we generated just then. You can see that this file is actually a logical backup of my test. It includes the process like create database, create table schema, and insert data into the table. Then let's move on to step two. Use Bubblefish Compass, a compatibility assessment tool. To check compatibility, you would need to download Bubblefish and install. Then switch to the installation path of this tool and run a pre-check to get a general compatibility report. You will see how many SQL statements are not supported in our DS for PostgreSQL with Bubblefish feature. In this demo, it shows that currently we have 61 unsupported SQL statements. We have to find them all and modify by hand. So for this part, you may need to assess for many time until it's 100% compatible. Then we need to import data using the file we just exported. First, open the SSMS to connect to the target RDS instance which has Bubblefish feature. Get the public endpoint of the instance on RDS console and paste in the server name field. Use SQL Server Authentication and fill in the initial account information. Then click Connect. Great! Now we are in. Let's copy the contents of the file and execute to load data into our DS for PostgreSQL. As you can see, no warning or error appears. That means we have now loaded all data successfully. Now let's also try to select data on SQL command line with TDS port 1433. Now the instance is connected. Let's see how many databases are there. As it's shown, there is only one database, my test, on the target RDS for PostgreSQL, and it is the one we imported previously. Let's also check the data in this database. There is one table created in database my test, same as the source. Then select records of the table. 10 records also the same as the source. Well, this is the whole process to migrate single database from SQL Server to RDS for PostgreSQL. So what is the most impressive part for you? I guess many of you have forgotten that the target database we executed SQL queries is not a SQL Server anymore. It's a PostgreSQL instead. It's smooth like you are still using a SQL Server but actually with a PostgreSQL as backend. Isn't it superb? Please stay tuned for more exciting videos.